Hi everyone, happy Thursday. This is Mr. Leo. Today, I want to talk about an activity you can do at home with the children. This activity will combine skills that will be helpful for literacy and math. What you'll need for this is a pair of scissors, which, one second, I have them. So a pair of scissors, of course, these are very big. You want the child kind of scissors. Cans, you can have one or two cans or three or four, however many you have. These can be very helpful for several projects. Today we're gonna talk about one project, but hopefully in the future I will try to come up with other ideas for you to do at home with these same materials. So we've got scissors, cans, and um, <clears throat> you need paper or glue. And you also need magazines or newspapers. What I have here are um, these pieces of advertisement that we get in the mail. So I'm going to be using this for today's project. And the project is very simple. It has to do with uh, creating categories for, for the children to organize pieces of information and separate them into different categories. In today's lesson, in today's activity, we want to work on numbers or numeros and letters or letras. The numbers will help with math. The letters will help with literacy. Okay, and it's very, very simple. All you need to do is have the child cut out different things or you can cut it out for them but it's preferable if they do it so that they exercise their their fine motor skills and you just want to cut a variety of things so they can cut the A, the L, the D, the I, the Y, the O, the U, the R, the F, the I, the R, the S, the T, the S, the T, the O, the P, they can cut anything or they can cut the numbers. The one, the nine, the nine, the six, the nine, the nine, the three, the one, the two, the five. So many numbers. The world is full of information. We just need to find it. So I'm going to cut a few things and then we'll go to the last part of this activity. And actually, act, uh, this activity can be extended. I will talk about the extension. <clears throat> so here we go. Okay, so here I have a variety of numbers and letters. And what you're going to do is mix them all up and then have the child separate them and put them in the in the appropriate can. For example, is this a number or a letter? G. This is a letter, so I'm going to put it in the letter can. Is this a number or a letter? 2. This is a number, so I'm going to put it in the number can. And that's basically the activity, but you can extend it by using the letters and the numbers and then making a collage. That is, gluing them onto a piece of paper, and it doesn't matter how the child does it. It's more of the experience of working with these elements and becoming familiar with these elements. 
And this is the this is where I'll stop this lesson. It's getting a little bit long, so um, I wish you all well. Thank you for visiting and watching this video, and much love from Mr. Leo. See you next time. Goodbye. Oops, I almost forgot about the extension. So the extension is very simple. You can do uh, other categories. So we did letters and we did numbers. You can do other categories like shapes, food, animals, and colors. And like I said, after you've you've cut everything and the child after the child has cut everything and organized everything, they can use the pieces that they have in the cans to make artwork, like collages. And that way you're doing so many things towards their knowledge, towards towards learning. You know, because you're cutting, you're organizing, you're learning about math and literacy, and finally you're ending with art, which explores their creativity and their imagination. So this activity, hopefully you can do it at home. Um, I think it'll be very nice and it'll keep them busy during this time that you have them at home for so long. So, okay, I wish you all well again. Much love. Goodbye.